that are uh, counting in the new year to encourage them? Yeah, you know, just like I said um, uh, not too long ago, you know, I, I talked about um, how we were in a storefront building, mm -hmm. you know, and then we we're sitting in that storefront building and I had a pivotal moment in my life where I had to leave my secular job or to go into full time ministry. And so that was a, a issue that really plagued me, you know, and so. I gave the keys to my wife of this old uh, <laughs> storefront church, and uh, we went, it was actually an old paint store. Mm -hmm. And so I, I went in there and um, I said, honey, I said, I'll call you when I heard from the Lord. I said, I need an answer. Uh, do I go into full-time ministry or, or, <laughs> or, or do I go back to work? And um, I, I went into that building and I began to pray and I began to cry. And um, uh, my wife had left. Um, I was there all alone, it was dark. And I, was, I found myself laying on the floor and I had my hands out like this. And I could feel the, the tears run down my face and hit my earlobes. And I said, Lord, I said, what am I supposed to do? Am I to leave my job? Am I to go into full-time ministry? I, I just, I needed a word. And um, I'll never forget this. I, I said, Lord, what about my kids? Um, because my heart went out to my kids, you know, I wanted I wanted an answer I said Lord what about my kids because I as a father as a you know as a husband I wanted to provide and uh, that was my heart and the man I'll never forget this and I, I heard you know when the Lord speaks he speaks by his word The Lord spoke to me and he said son if you then being evil Know how to give good gifts to your children How much more will the Heavenly Father? give good things to those who ask. And then he said, do I not want to take care of your children more than you do? And I knew right then and there, God would take care of me. And uh, so I left, full, I left my job, I worked at a nuclear plant, don't worry, I'm not that smart. <laughs> um, I'm not a nuclear <laughs> physicist or anything like that. But I left that job um, and went into full-time ministry and we have seen supernatural increase within the last three years that it, we just don't have the time to talk about it. But um, it's just amazing what God is doing. And so I just want to encourage people out there, you know, that when God tells you to do something, just do it. Um, God is a God that tells you, tells you to speak to your mountains and they'll move, they'll get out of your way. He's the God of the impossible. He's the God of the immovable. And so God is really waiting on you because I was sitting waiting on God. We were waiting for years, just Lord use us and you know, here's our hands, heal through them. Here's our mouth, speak through it. Mm -hmm. And all along he was waiting on us. Yeah, light bulb went off. Oh my goodness, the Lord's waiting on us to move. And so we ended up getting out. And, um, and so we, we just haven't looked back. God has just been so good. Um, well, that's a story that is uh, very similar to a, a lot of people that get into ministry mm -hmm. and where they have that point to choose, do I follow God's calling mm -hmm. or do I follow um, my own uh, <laughs> trust in myself that I can yeah. be the provider, that I can take care of my family. Um, even similar to how this ministry uh, started, but Sherry, he said he called you. <laughs> That's usually what I did. That's a good move. That's how I know uh, <laughs> how I know why he's successful because I usually call Heather when I'm in those types of situations. But what was your uh, encouragement to him to say, even though it looks like this may not be the best move financially, this may not be the best move as a mm -hmm. provider, a husband, a father, to encourage him to do that, that maybe will speak to viewers today. Yeah, so, I mean, I knew all along, I kept telling him, you know, he needed to quit, um, but the Lord had to tell him. <laughs> um, but just that trust in God. I mean, like you had said, we don't want to trust in our own ability and our own selves you know he's god so who better to put our trust in for everything in every area trust god because he doesn't fail you know he he'll provide he's our healer he's our source of everything so and so she forgot to mention this uh tom <laughs> because i was um she was like i said honey i'm gonna quit and she goes it's about time <laughs> and so 
you know, and so, it, so I, you know, know it's great to have a godly woman um, by your side. Yes. Um, because behind every, you know, great man of God, there's, there's also a, a great woman to stand behind your side and encourage along the way. And even this, this, this the increase here at uh, TCT and um, just the abundance of blessings that's taken place here. It's, it's truly amazing.